ladies and gentlemen of internet land. Let me try and lean a little bit closer. This is going to be awkward. I kind of like how the mic sounds when I'm in close. So maybe I can give you that today. We got something I'm excited about. And I'm excited about this for a couple reasons. Um, one is the design and the look of this spinner. Um, I really, really enjoyed aesthetically how this looked and how I thought it would fidget. Um, and then uh, two is, I guess, I'm not usually excited about what you would consider, I wouldn't consider this like a mass-produced like um, drop from um, from China. It's not like a you know, like a, a one-off handmade zero few drop or anything like that. But despite that, there was still an excitement about that. And because there was an excitement on this kind of a spinner that I normally wouldn't consider excitement, it kind of got me extra hype. Um, so let's just bring it in, shall we? Bum, ba, da, ba, the Atrium by Unquiet Hands. Um, so what can we say about this thing? First and foremost, the attention to detail across the board on every aspect of this is part of what had me excited. So it's a nice little tin, well-designed logo. I mean, that's just a nice, smooth, elegant logo. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, just everything about it. So when they first started coming out with this and they were doing the pre-orders... Um, they had uh, just a really excellent website, a lot of excellent photos taken and everything like that. And it's that sort of attention to detail that lets me know, like, hold on, we got something going on here. So first and foremost, out of the 10, I should say as well, um, I'm really digging the fact that every one of these that I've seen had like a handwritten note. Um, so I wasn't sure if they're doing that literally for every one. Um, but especially since they were going to send me one for review, I was like, oh, it'll make sense to send me one in here. Uh, but literally everyone that I've seen that some people have been posting on has had a note. So if you don't get a note, don't don't be too sad. Uh, but that's just a nice little extra touch. So I appreciate that. And again, handwritten, not just like typed up or something. But all right, let's take a look. Oh, the sunshine's coming in. It really just kind of came out. I don't know if I'm in the most optimum camera setup for that. So I guess we'll just try to hold it and make it work. That's what we do on here, right? Internet. We make it work with what we got doing another in the car review. Uh, so let's talk about this microfiber cloth. So first, just the fact that it was folded up, I don't know if I got it exactly right, but it was folded up in such a way that this little logo that was just on one corner of the microfiber was being displayed when you opened it up. Um, appreciate that. I forget the order of everything that came in there, but in any event, the cloth was folded in such a way that when you got to the cloth, you got to see the logo. So that's cool. So let's open it up. Um, it's a pretty generous size cloth, but it's like this suede type material. And I don't mean to like swoon over just the stuff in the box without getting to the spinner yet, but let's just take it all in for what it's worth because it is kind of an experience. Um, yeah, it's almost like the suede. It's a really nice microfiber cloth. I haven't seen one quite this quite this nice and quite this large. So if you were at all handy, um, you could easily stitch this into a nice little pouch. So, which I may actually try my hand at. We'll see. Um, set that aside here, sort of like our little logo. Da -da -da -da. On quiet hands. A UQH. Uh, and then this bearing removal tool is excellent. Um, it's got really good grip, really good leverage. Again, the logo is lasered on there very nicely. Nice little brushed finish. I think one and a half millimeters wide, I think uh, Tom was saying. So there are some thinner bearings uh, that use a, a thin uh, bearing removal tool that this might not work on, but most of them you find are around this size and any ones that are thinner, they're just kind of making the problems for themselves. Like the Aero Spinner, for example, is very thin. Um, so this might not work on that, but this works well on any ones that this fits in and most of them will take this and it works well for their spinner and it's an excellent little guy. Remind me not to forget, like how I'm asking you to remind me something. Remind me not to forget to tell you about that. Um, then we got some stickers. We love stickers. Just nice, simple little stickers. So there's a simple uh, black on white, uh, one with some of that uh, design pattern around the outside, and then uh, white on black. White on black. Dig it. Dig it. A card of authenticity. Do we want to reveal the spinner yet? Maybe not. Card of authenticity. Nice authenticity card. And I like that it's in this little plastic thing. It just helps give it that extra little bit, right? Presentation, attention to detail. We dig it. So I'm going to put the links for their Instagram and Facebook down below. But there, there it is. Let's flip this over. Just excellent design. Just looks good. White, a white gel pen on cardstock. On a thin cardstock. Maybe not technically cardstock. But um, a little holographic logo. Looks wonderful. Looks wonderful. Thank you, Tom. I got Tom's signature. I got Tom's signature. Do you? Well, get in on the drop so you can get it. Get his signature. All right. So now let's take a look at the spinner, shall we? So I have to apologize for two things. Maybe more than two things. Uh, by default, it does come with the... We've got two different caps in here. 
Um, it comes with two different uh, two different caps. Uh, the other ones are the ones that are normally on it, but obviously that's an easy switch. Um, but I've got this in this brushed finish. Now I noticed online they mention having a mirror finish as well. And I'm pretty sure when I when Tom reached out to me, I told him to send me the brush so I could polish it myself because I you guys know I like doing that sort of thing. And I started to get a little overzealous. Um, I did a live stream last night and I started polishing it up, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what that brushed finish looks like in person. Um, so you can see on this arm, if you're looking at it in the light, you can see, see those diagonal scratches. That's me just accidentally sanding that side just a tiny bit. But otherwise, the finish is great. Let's Another reason I didn't want to completely polish this before I did this video is the finish. Look at the brushing comes outwards from here and then comes outwards from here. Let's see if we can get the light to really show that. See that? How it's always going outwards on essentially the arms and then in between the arms. And then on the sides, it goes outwards on these sides, but then up and down. So that's some specific attention to that detail. And the brush marks overlap very slightly on these edges but not bad considering like how difficult it is to get those brush marks even so if you're really looking real close you can see a bit of overlap on those corners but that's really nice um the finish was excellent on this any marks you see are going to be from well what i'll show you in a minute here um give it a spin Ooh. yep she spins very very nicely oh we can actually get some warp in here maybe we haven't done a warp in a while because it's been cloudy and we've been in the car Oh, I'm on 60 frames, though, so it's going to be tough to get a warp. Apologize, Internet. Uh, you didn't come here to see a warp. You just came here to see the spinner. So um, let's flip it over real quick. Let's get that out of the way. Da -da -da -da. So this is a quick and dirty hand polish. I didn't really do it a perfect because um, I didn't have time. I just got this last night, and I wanted to get the first impressions review out. And you guys know I get my reviews out or like to get my reviews out pretty quick. But I wanted to feel what the polish felt like. So I wanted to be able to show you what the brush looks like. And then for me personally, what the polish feels like. And you guys know I love polish. That feels really nice. So I wanted to show that off and explain that so you knew why this side was polished. So this is, again, just me hand sanding it down mostly. I tried doing some of it with a Dremel. and did some stuff okay. But I, for what the, my style of polishing, I just haven't been able to get anything that comes anywhere near the quality of just doing it all by hand start to finish. So I guess it is what it is. It's nice and shiny, nice and smooth, really great shape. So let's talk about the shape and the design, and then we'll talk more about the spinning. Um, you'll obviously notice it's more or less a tri shape, but it's pretty pretty wide arms um, you've got this gentle taper inwards and then these really excellent slopes and curves right here as well as these nice little curves down here um, and that does a lot of things for you so um, it'll let you get your finger right in here it just it just wants to kind of nestle right in for excellent pulls and this thing is a flick monster if you like to flick your spinners because it's a very generous deep curve this way as well as a pretty generous curve this way your finger just like locks right in there and just can just push, whoops, push off with authority. Speaking of pushing off with authority, don't go anywhere, internet. Um, speaking of pushing off with authority, um, yeah, you can really, really get this thing rock and roll. Let's take the um, the buttons. I shouldn't have pushed them in so far. Normally they're in a little bag, so they're not as hard to get out. Be careful not to scratch your buttons. Don't do like me, internet. You want to be like me? I'm not going to sing the rest of that Eminem because it's most of it's inappropriate. So, um, hi kids. Do you like violins? Want to see me stick atrium spinners through each one of my eyelids? Want to copy me and do exactly like I did? Get an atrium and hand polish one side of it. That was pretty good, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, flick, flick monster, flick demon. Um, really good at flicking. Feels good. It's got a, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I'm not sure. I didn't really think the order I wanted to, to talk about everything is because there's so much to talk about in this guy because there's so many subtle things that you might not notice at first or things that need specific attention drawn to them. But um, we've got some excellent finishing under the under the buttons, which is almost a shame that you don't see it, but it's a good that you don't see it as well when I talk about why. Um, it has a nylon cage bearing. Um, it's As far as I can tell, it's not a hex super bearing, but it's this very similar style um, and a very similar feel. So should you ever have issues with these bearings, you can throw a heck in there and, and get essentially the same feel, but it's going to come with that kind of bearing in it. And then it comes with a standard kind of um, shielded stainless steel bearing, which has decent feedback. Uh, but if I really wanted some feedback, I'd probably be throwing a heck um, HCS or HCZ bearing design for feedback, but I love when manufacturers send you extra bearings. Um, it's uh, it's just a good, good, uh, good thing for the community. Good thing for us spinner frame to have a uh, have an extra bearing. So these are the canopy caps. Um, they're a little bit higher than these. They're about three millimeters versus this being uh, I think just over two. 
Um, did I have, I hope I had all that in frame. The sun kind of blinded me for a minute there and I just realized I kind of was looking to the side and squinting. So I normally don't do that. So hopefully I didn't ruin everything I was just showing you there. Um, we'll show it again one more time. Has an extra bearing. Uh, these buttons are nice. I think some people, I think this, the, the spinner community is going to be pretty split on these. Uh, these are excellent buttons. I think a lot of people are going to like these buttons, especially for like a pinch grip, uh, because it's sort of a smaller bowl and with some ridges, but also on a big flat grip. Um, there's a little bit more texture to grab onto. So I think some people are going to appreciate the texture and the grip from these. Definitely a little more tactile, definitely a little more, um, feedback from these, uh, from these kind of buttons. Nice little warping, really, really nice buttons. So I just want to put them on to show you. But for me, canopy caps are nice. But for me, the cupola caps. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Could call it cupola or cupola. I call them cupolas. Francis Ford cupola. Um, but really, really excellent buttons. And again, spare buttons in the spinner game. Yes, please. Now I gotta I gotta find a home for these because I do really like these. I think there's a spinner that these will be very happy on. So let's put these back on. <clears throat> One thing as well before I put them back on is they're solid. You know, so some spinners, and I pointed this out in my live video as well, the um, arachnophobia, for example, it's designed to kind of nestle around a bearing cage. So they're almost like, not intentionally like hollow to be, to reduce material or weight, but they just have a little lip to kind of cover up. Um, but these don't, and they just feel solid. You know, it, it feels like a more solid button, a more solid platform for your finger. So let's talk about my two favorite features design-wise of this. Runner-up design feature, number two, is look at how those buttons are nestled in there. Look at that tolerance, everybody. So the bearing, you know, that's sort of normal bearing play, but the fact that you really get in there and you get some of the button exposed and some of the button covering up, I really, really like and appreciate that. I think that is a fantastic design feature, design choice. Well, well done. Really like the look of that, really like the feel. It kind of gives some interesting feedback to the way your fingers press and lock in here, but then they reach down into here, but then they get up here. It's just a very interesting, interesting feel in hand. So we love that. Boy, that sun is bright. Apologize, y'all. Uh, but here's my number one feature, because I didn't notice this until I got this in hand, but this has the slightest little taper down outwards. See that? See how it's not completely flat out, but it tapers down uh, just a little bit? So that's not a huge taper. So that's not a real obvious in your face, hey, we're tapering the side of the spinner down. So that tells something to me. Remember how I said attention to detail? That tells me that that was a very intentional design choice because that's extra work machining, right? You don't just get a, a piece of metal like that, right? Like they've got to take work to make this drop down that way. Um, and the fact that that was done tells me that this is exactly how they wanted it to feel. And while it's subtle, and it's almost kind of hard to feel, uh, kind of once you recognize that that's there, the what that gives you on the spin. Um, so now we can really kind of talk about the spin on this guy, is no matter where you grab this guy, you're getting a good spin. You get it on the face because of that kind of negative taper. Um, there's sort of like a, a little, almost like a, as if there were a facet to kind of pull off. And even if I'm doing it on the smooth side, so it's not that just that there's texture on the brush, but on the smooth side, I get a ton of grip because of, partially because of this little ridge, but even on the flat, the way it tapers down, it just, it allows me to get a little more inward purchase as it were. And again, we're talking about the real subtle things that make these guys fidgetable. So love that attention to detail. Um, so pulling preloaded flicks, excellent. Um, pulling like this because everything is so rounded with, you know, it's, it's sort of almost like a wave, like constant wave around the outside. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. You know, you can, you really get good, get good pulls and pushes everywhere. You just, anywhere you touch it, your finger has something to interact with and they all feel very different. This gets very thin here and it's rounded very nicely, very soft, but at the same time that feels like a much more acute edge than this does out here. Um, so when I get my finger on this, I get a little bit more feedback to me. My finger can feel that edge a little bit more and it just works excellent. Uh, again, flicking this, especially if you like flicking or maybe you haven't had found a spinner you really like to flick, this is one that's uh, it's very reminiscent in a lot of ways sort of of my Hydra um, and the fact that just the way the, the shape of the arm is just allows you really to flick it really well. Um, and it's just very satisfying to flick, especially on the polished side. Um, slowing it down feels really nice. And even just kind of getting my finger here and kind of pushing it down to kind of push the spinner back. That's been something I've really been enjoying fidgeting, just like, whoops, I'm not on the polish side anymore. I'm um, just kind of like pushing that down, getting onto one of these little edges and then just kind of pushing it in. Uh, just feels nice. Just kind of rubbing it back and forth, spinning it, slowing it down. Yeah, there it is. 
Really nice spring profile on the side here because it's got that gentle taper, but not a lot. It's kind of neat. And then on the top, because of the trit slots, you get some kind of cool little concentric circle action going on. You're not really seeing because now we're getting too much light. But really, 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 really excellent spinner. So where can you get this guy? So they did this on a pre-order. Now, this was the first spinner that um, Unquiet Hands came out with, um, and they did a pre-order for it. It looks like they've got a little bit of stock left over, not a ton, but a little bit that they're going to be dropping on the 5th of December, uh, which I think is a Tuesday. Um, I'll have all the links and stuff down below. Um, at like 9 p.m., they're going to do a drop for what's left over. Now, they're not going to have titanium. They're out of titanium, but they're going to have the stainless steel, the copper, and the brass. I'm not sure what finishes are available. Um, they do mention on their website a mirror finish, but I wasn't sure what is going to be mirror finish and what's going to be brushed so um but again if you're anything like me and just do a little customizing uh it's nice to do it yourself it makes it a little extra special so um and from the look of this guy i knew it was going to be kind of special um yeah so they're going to have that drop um stainless steel goes for 44 uh the brass goes for 40 the copper goes for 41 and the titanium when they have it uh goes for 68. um now one thing they did point out on their website is that this is uh in limited stock um so they didn't get quite as many of these as they did spinners so i think only the first 40 orders on december 5th are going to have the bearing removal tool so if you want this sweet bearing removal tool get over there get get in on it quick um so you can get one of those tools um but uh yeah, I didn't even talk about spin time, and I didn't weigh it. We got well out of... I mean, there was so much to say on this guy. Let's weigh it. Are you going to be able to see that scale? Yeah, I think you can see that, right? 87.3. So right around where they say, I think they say 89, but that might... The cupola caps, I think, are a little heavier than these because uh, they're a little thicker and not quite as much material has been removed. So uh, probably right around 89 with the, with the canopy caps. Sorry, not cupolas. Um, spin times, uh, they list on their website getting four to five minutes on my first table spin, and I haven't cleaned this bearing, which I bet if I clean it could probably even get a little more because that's almost always the case, I find. Uh, even with brand new bearings, once you clean them out, uh, they'll often get a little bit more. But we were getting five minutes, 11 seconds, and we're getting um, seven minutes and 13 seconds on a vertical spin. So I think we're making a nice little reflection there. Um, so really good spin times, all things considered, especially when there's not a tremendous amount of work done to reduce inward mass, and you've even got like a negative taper out here. Uh, really, 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 really excellent. Excellent for fast fidgeting, excellent for slow fidgeting. Like, right, that's when you know you've got something because it's so good it flicks outward hard. It's also really nice at them gentle and slow. So excellent little spinner. And affordable is what I love. I love when I get to look at a spinner like this that's not just super high end that only a few people can afford or so in demand that you just can't get it. Um, you know, this like this is one that they they definitely um, uh, sold a lot on their pre-order and they've only got a handful, you know, on their drop for the uh, for the fifth, but it's still available. Like, you know, it's still, there's still hope internet. I know a lot of people comment like in the loopholes, for example, those are affordable. Those often sell out immediately. So you see my video and you hit the link and sold out. Ah, dang it. Not the case here. So December 5th, get in on that, get in on that drop. And Tom's a great guy. I shouldn't mention as well. Um, one of the things I, I love and really happy to see with a spinner like this is you know, you see the hype train, you get the hype train rolling. And Tom's been really good about engaging the community, you know, putting up pictures, uh, chatting with people, putting info out there, um, being really involved. You know, he was, he's PMing me and letting me know about, you know, where the shipping's at. And I, I can't imagine he does that for everybody, but I know he's definitely done that for not just me as well. Um, so excellent, excellent little spinner. Check out Ben's uh, video as well. Um, uh, Slice of My Life, Average Singaporean. He does his actual unboxing. It comes in a nice little black padded envelope if you really want to see the full the full picture so and get over to dilly fidget you can find my live video over there somewhere um on the old facebooks where we uh where we actually did unboxing and first impressions and i scared tom when i started polishing this on you know live um uh, i think he might have got a little scared i didn't want to take it down too much again because this is kind of his baby and i want to make sure we show it off the way you know he intended it because they put so much detail in it but again at the same time you know me i love to customized it seems like one out of every two spinners i have gets customized so maybe not quite that much but it's a lot so anywho this has been a long one today internet so i hope you enjoy um i think 19 20 minutes is is plenty um we didn't really talk about negatives i can't i can't i don't know if i really have any um the quality the total package the price it's really hard to beat the balance is excellent uh the balance is off just ever so slightly 
on one arm, but it's real, real subtle. I don't know if I, it's even enough to, it's gonna, so there it is. It, this front corner, I think, wants to drop ever so slightly, but it's so minimal uh, that we might as well call it perfect, especially for the price point, right? 44 bucks for stainless steel to be perfect. Um, good. So uh, what do we recommend? We're getting two awkward thumbs up. I've been fidgeting it all day. First impressions on the box last night were great. And I've been jamming on it a lot today. Uh, probably two, three hours worth of spinning on it. Uh, and yeah, it is fantastic. I do find I keep flipping over specifically to get the polish side down against my fingers because I do like the way that feels. Um, so we're definitely going to put a full real polish. We're going to go and redo this start to finish and get it get it a uh, really high end mirror finish, you know, my style. Try to get it to match my stubby. Um, at that level of polish. Um, but I think it's going to be good. So definitely get yourself some internets and uh, I'll leave you with some kisses. See ya.